everybody it's me again crazy bag lady i hope you survived the night i woke up so many times hot Whew, it was horrible but to that is only the tip of the iceberg obviously it's gonna get worse the next couple of days at night but yeah anyway i'll try not to moan today because obviously you probably don't want to listen to me moaning about how hot it is all day so we'll just plod on and see how the day goes so anyway calendar of the day let's have a look dun, 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 dun. Accept what isn't so that you can move forward with what is. Oh, that's very wise, isn't it? I love this little calendar so much. I love our calendar of the day. I've done my makeup this morning. Um, I'm hoping it'll last all day. So I've got my serum on, which plumps the wrinkles up. My eye serum, which plumps the wrinkles around your eyes. My serum foundation. In fact, all this serum stuff is just so good. My True Colour uh, foundation, which again, I like the coverage of that, covers your wrinkles up. This has got some protection factor in it, which is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. It's so, so good. And don't forget, you can get samples of it all. My Avon shop is down below. Don't forget, they also do like wonderful jewellery as well. I really like the bracelets I've bought from there, the necklaces. They've been so, so good. And they're really cheap as well. Anyway, so it's about half day. It's already really, really warm. Very, very warm. Blue skies. So let's go and get some breakfast. We might even be able to have a breakfast outside. Let's go. Right. I've tried to find on. Find on. I've tried to put on the coolest clothes that I own. So I've got these little floaty shorts on again. They are so, so lightweight. They're wonderful. And a very, very loose blouse. It's so hard to know what to wear, isn't it? So yeah, I think we'll be okay in this. Fingers crossed. When you frizz back in her from the usual position. We left her there all night, so she spent the whole night in the hall, but I think it's the coolest place. Um, and then little Dolly is waiting for me. Oh, bless her. Right, here we go again. Monday, healthy eating. So for breakfast this morning, we've got jelly, sugar-free jelly, uh, raspberries, grapes, cereal bar, banana. No more naughty food, Janie. Oh, in fact, I'm going to take it outside and eat it. No. I wish we could sit out here every morning. It would be lovely. Stop licking my finger. <laughs> Have a moment with the bees, Dolly. <laughs> ah, ten to ten. So I've had my door open for about ten minutes and I've already got a massive fly in here. I don't know if you can hear it. I hate flies, they're disgusting. Um <laughs> so I need to try and catch the fly. I'm going to ring my mum and also, my neighbour has decided to do something with his garage and the drilling and banging and the hottest day of the year, don't want to be listening to drilling and banging and that's me just moaning, but oh, I wanted to listen to the birds. There's no birds, just drilling. It's a bit warm out there, isn't it, Dolly? So I've brought Dolly in as well because obviously she's only a baby and they don't realise about being hot. Go on, Mr Fly. Go, go, go. Oh, it didn't go out. <laughs> so we need to learn for you to stay in and keep cool. There must be about four flies in here. I've got rid of two. Two have gone out. Back can you still, still hear me? So it made you buzzing. Oh, he's there on the floor. Come on, Dolly, can you catch him? Can you catch the fly? He's gone a bit too high up for you now, isn't he? That's not very annoying, is it? Can you hear it? <laughs> right. Boring jobs. So we need to tackle the boring jobs. 
So we've got washing up to do, dishwashers to empty. That pizza I had last night was absolutely gorgeous. I've not had proper pizza for a long time. It was a co-op make one and it was just a cheese and tomato margarita one. But I tell you what, it was absolutely delicious. Even when I got this morning, I thought that pizza was really, really nice. So anyway, so we need to do boring job. So I'm gonna ring my mum at the same time. I mean business. <laughs> Come on, <out and> fly. <laughs> I keep seeing it land everywhere and I can't catch it. I've tried to open the door to chew it out and I just can't and it's doing my head in. Right, so I've been on the phone to my mum. I've put her in a prison. I thought she needed a little rest, bless her, but she doesn't want to go to sleep. Um, so I'm going to have to get her back out in a minute. Um, so I've cleared my work tops because I'm going to oil them. So when you've got solid oak work tops, occasionally, I think it's about every three months or something, you have to oil them. So you get your oil and rub it all in and stuff. You can kind of see probably more over here where we make drinks and stuff that it's like faded. It's not a very nice job, I absolutely hate doing it, but I can see that it needs doing. And I thought it'll dry quite quick because it's warm. The sun is not in my kitchen yet, so it's still quite cool in here. So I thought before it gets really hot, I'm gonna do it. But first of all, I've got to empty the bin. So I'm gonna empty the bin, then oil my worktops. This must be good exercise, surely. <laughs> oh. I must be mad doing it today, but at least it'll dry and at least I know it's done. I probably won't have to do it till like Christmas time. Yay! Still rubbing. We're still rubbing, aren't we? I can't even have my music on because I'm about to unplug everything to get everything off my worktop. So, so quiet. Can you hear it? So quiet. Horrible. I like to have a bit of music on to keep me going. I'm running out of motivation. So you literally have to pour the oil all over your worktops and then you just get another cloth and you have to like buff it up. They still seem a bit sticky after so sometimes I do go over them again with a bit of kitchen roll but they're alright after a couple of days and you really can tell you've done them. It just gives them a nice a nice sheen and obviously protects them if you spill anything on them again but I wouldn't have oak worktops again. They're a blooming nightmare and they are a responsibility but they are lovely. I'm a woman on a mission. So I've done my work top, so they're all nice and shiny. And I've just started on the cupboard. So I've done the top bit, I've done the middle, and I've done, I'm just about to do, sorry, the bottom. So as you can see, it's sort of made it go slightly darker, but it's very conditioning for the wood. Um, and the bottom probably looks a bit dry, so we'll get the bottom done. And then I think we've polished enough wood. Right, I've got my faff head on now. So. Because everywhere looks so lovely, you know, and you've got nothing on the worktops, I thought, do I really need to put everything back on the worktops? So I've managed to squash my microwave in my cupboard over there. I don't use my microwave that much. Um, obviously, I know they're supposed to have a bit of space and stuff if you use them to keep them cool, but there is a bit of a gap between the cupboard and the bottom of it. Um, I'm trying to show you. Oh, and a bit of my cardboard fell down out of my fake roof blind <laughs> it frightened me to death <laughs> um so there is a bit of room around it so i might get away with keeping it in the cupboard i've had it in a cupboard before uh but we'll see but i'm very busy <gasps> dinner me my fam um so i've got some ham uh some loaf of mayonnaise lots of lettuce tomatoes and three little corn things so often enjoy me have dinner my dinner was very nice right i made myself a cup of coffee but first of all I'm just going to oil this. Um, I've seen my worktops are really dark compared to this. I've never oiled this. I bought it second hand and I've never really done anything with it. And it probably does need a little bit of TLC. So I thought I'm going to oil the top bit. It'll probably go dark, but I think it'll match the kitchen more. Mm. It's not gone as dark as I thought it would, but it's actually done it. The world of good. It's actually got a nice sheen to it now. Looks really nice. Check out Winifred. This is what you do when it's uh, hot. Look at my fluffy gloves. This is what you do when it's hot. You just sit in your bed and go to sleep. Right, 10 past two. So I thought I'd better put some lipstick on because I've got no lipstick on. So lipstick of the day today is an Avon lip gloss and the colour is Gleaming Lava, I think it's called. And it just gives you this really lovely sheen, really moisturises your lips. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, my lipstick of the day, which 
I've just thrown on the floor. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know if the sun's gone in. It looks like it's gone slightly darker. I did debate about going outside for 10 minutes just to actually see how hot it is out there. Uh, but I think the sun's gone in, but we might go and have a quick look. Yeah, the sun has gone in a minute. And it's very, very hot. Very hot. I mean, wow. You can feel the heat sort of coming off the floor. Well, Winnie's come outside and I thought she needed a wee. Obviously, I'm not going to let her sit out here. But she didn't even have a wee. She's come outside and just sat straight on the patio. <laughs> You're not sitting out here. It's too hot. So, we've not put my tree in place either. Obviously, we've got to move that one and put that one there. But it was just too hot to do it yesterday. So, eventually, my new tree... We'll sit there. I bought her in. <laughs> so pension number one. Tips from keeping cool from Winifred. Just lie on the floor. Um, and I don't know where my other pensioner is. Oh, she's definitely got the right idea. Not allowed on the sofa. Not a care in the world. Are you okay? You look okay. <laughs> Is it only me that buys things and then waits a while before you use them and then you use them and they're faulty so you've left it too long to return it? So I bought this like mop thing and you're supposed to click it all together and then you put like little wipe things on them and then it mops your floor for a quick mop. But it's wobbly, look at it. <laughs> so that one doesn't clip together properly. The other two do, but that one doesn't. So when you put pressure on it, it just wobbles. It's the most weirdest feeling, trying to wipe your floor with a wobbly stick. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if I'd only just bought it, I would take it back, but I've had it quite a while and just never tried it. But pff, it's crap. <laughs> but it will give the floor just a quick wipe over so it'll freshen it up. But it's very wobbly. Mm, well, I've actually managed to break it. <laughs> it just fell apart and won't go back together. So if you see one of these, buzz clean. Don't buy them, they're crap. <laughs> it did work my floor really, really good. So whether my husband can like try and bodge it back together, I'm not sure, but for a quick wipe over, it was really good. It did pick up quite a lot of dirt and stuff. So it's just the actual stand, it's not strong enough. Three, well, nearly three o'clock. So I actually think we've done a good job today because obviously we've cleared all the worktops. We've wiped the floor over, broke them up. Um, yeah, I don't think we've done too bad at all. And it's quite cool in my kitchen as well, which is very, very lucky. Um, I think the sun has come back out because I can see it glaring through the blinds. And some bits of my roof lantern have fell down. <laughs> my fake roof blind, but I just hope it can stand tomorrow. Then we can take it back down. Ooh, and has anyone made any more flowers? So I did two more yesterday um, while I was sort of potting about. So I did a green one and a yellowy one. Obviously I've not put them on sticks yet, but I'm working my way through them. And they're my mum's. <laughs> so I'm still working some more in the vase for my mum, but I'm gonna give her the vase. Obviously I bought these from the charity shop as well. So it's gonna be like a tropical sort of thing when it's done, but it'll be lovely for a birthday present. Oh, I've come outside literally for five minutes. The sun's come out. I've got to pick me off the bus soon, but I thought five minutes not hurt. It's hot. <sighs> right, I only stayed out there for about two minutes. It's far too hot. Right, we've got to go and get Ruby off the bus. And I've got to go to the post office and pick up my PO box mail. Let's go. Oh, and I've got to fetch my neighbour's paper. Let's go. It's 40 degrees in the car, or 40.5 degrees. Ooh. Right, I've got it. I've got to go to the post office. Ooh. Right, let's go. <laughs> right, I've made it. 
made it home. But I'm gonna go and take my neighbour's paper, make sure she's all right. Right, back from my neighbours. I'm melting. It's rather warm out there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so her prescription hadn't been delivered that I dropped off at the doctor's last week. So she made me ring the chemist to chase it up for her, but I think we're sorted. So it is now 10 past four. I need to start thinking about some tea. It's too hot to eat. Oh, well, the heat is affecting everybody. Even Dolly's like peeing in the house and she doesn't normally. Um, because obviously she's drinking more because of the heat, she decided to wait in the house. It's like a river. Right, ladies and gentlemen. So I've rushed myself up some tea with as least cooking as possible. So we've got a Tesco uh, calorie control spaghetti bolognese, which is eight points on Weight Watchers. I've got four coin nuggets, which is three points, and a quarter of the garlic bread, which is four points, and lots of salad to often do my tea. Right, so I've done small flowers, I've glued them together. So we've done the yellow one, the green one. So there's now six in my mum's bunch. She's probably getting a few too many, but I'm addicted to making them. So my mum's gonna have a massive bunch full. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep my dogs out of the kitchen because it's so hot in here. They're not happy. You've got to stay in there, little pig. <laughs> wow, it's still absolutely boiling. It's like the middle of the day, but it's not. It's about, oh, hang on, what time is it? Seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock and it's so hot. Right, my dears, I'm going to love you, love you. I'm so hot, as I'm sure most of England are at the moment. So many, many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really sorry if it was boring. Obviously, there's only so much you can do in a heat wave, if, unless you like sunbathing or whatever. But yeah, we've plodded away through. So thank you for being there with me. Because if I didn't have you, I'd have no one to talk to. I'd have been very, very lonely. So thank you for being there with me. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My website is down below. My dogs have got their own website, not their own website, their own Instagram, which is Three Fluffles. My little Avon shop is also down below. So I think the Avon makeup has not done too badly to say it's been on since seven o'clock this morning in the middle of like 38 degree temperatures so it's not done too bad bless it so i'll love you and leave you i will see you tomorrow i really hope that you have a good night's sleep i think it's gonna be a scorcher bye